Hey guys, it's Anne. Today we're going to take a look in on my protein bin, which I dubbed the excellent bin, but we've moved off from eggs to meat. These worms are darn right carnivorous. Now I've had a lid on here to keep everything moist, so let's see what they are doing. Last time, what did we feed them? Last time we fed the worms soup mix, which was a beef barley tomato mix, and gave them plenty of bedding so that they would have lots of room to run around. So we're gonna, I'm not sure, I thought it was on one of the edges. The edges are looking a little bit dry, but, um, so we fed them shredded beef, and I'll put a picture below. And before that we had fed rib, rib tips, and before that we had fed eggs. Oh, look at that. Good job, worms. Look at that. Happy little worms eating their soup. It's been five weeks since we looked in on them, so uh, I try not to look in on this bin too soon, simply because I do not want to be a part of whatever digestion process there is for the, the meat. We started out with a pound of worms in here. Uh, this is about a 10 gallon container. It's about 24 inches by 18 inches. I'll put the metric in there. But I believe this is where the beef stock was, and there was tomato, barley, and beef, shredded beef. And I'm trying to look pretty close here to see, you know, is there anything recognizable at all other than worms? And I'm not, I'm not seeing it, but I'm, I'm thinking there's more than a pound of worms in here now. What do you guys think? So one of the things that I wanted to go through were people's questions that they had about the um, bin that I'm doing here where I'm kind of doing an experiment and feeding them protein sources such as eggs and meat. And one of the people, you know, asked, you know, do we have protein poisoning in here? Um, looking at every, not, I'm okay, I'm not pulling out every single worm, but looking at every single handful, I am not seeing any any sign of it at all and the population does not appear to be going down so I'm not having any kind of a die-off or anything. So what protein poisoning really is is it's fermenting. Uh, if the worms eat something that ferments inside of them then the gas blows up and turns them into like string of pearls. So that's not, I haven't seen any chance of this. And one of the ways that I do mitigate having any sort of problems in my bin is that when I feed them, I make sure that I give them a good size area where they can get away from it if it does heat up or if it does, I don't know, have some sort of pH problem or what have you. I'm going to take some of this upstairs and do a pH on it and I will insert that right now. Okay, so what I have here is some universal pH test paper. I just get that on Amazon. And what I have here is some castings that I put in some deionized water, and I have been letting them sit and sloshing them all over place, apparently. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the pH of the solution here. And how you do that is you go and you get it wet in there for a very briefest second. All right, so looking looking at the pH here, this appears to be about six and a half. And just in case you were wondering, let's say what the African Nightcrawler's pH is, I will show you that as well, just to show you that it's, it's not any different. And so here we are back at the little box here and it is almost exactly the same as the other one. Let's see if I can get the colors to line up here for you so you can see them right next to each other. So not quite seven, but just below seven. In the comments, I have been very surprised to see how many people have reached out and told me of all of their times where they fed uh, their worms meat or the similar. Uh, one person said they fed their worms a pastrami sandwich and uh, didn't even miss a beat. Lots of people have fed chicken bones and um, other kinds of meat and some people just have been feeding meat all the time and never even gave it a thought, didn't know it was even a bad idea. So although I thought this was quite the avant-garde experiment, apparently people have been doing this for quite some time. So today what we have got going on is we're going to move the worms over 
and since they did manage to eat every s single bit of what we fed them last time, I'm thinking maybe there's just a larger population of worms in here now and that they could use larger feeding. So I am going to get them some bedding. Here we go. In the spirit of me continuing to clean out my cabinet, we now have meatloaf. So this is actually meatloaf made with deer and beef. So this is uh, the worms getting their first introduction to uh, deer meat. They've had pork, they've had beef, they've had eggs. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to give them meatloaf. So what do you think about that? This does have some spices in it, uh, but not a lot of salt. I also did rinse this off, uh, but I think one of the bigger problems is that there's going to be a higher content of fat in this from the beef or pork or whatever I mixed with the deer. So that's the one thing that I think is going to be different than usual. Um, and then I have one more thing because several people told me that I really need to get them some chicken bones because that is super interesting. So let me go grab the chicken bones. So these are relatively fresh. I just made chicken soup today. So they are going to get the, I don't expect this to be much of a, a meal, um, but it will be interesting to see if the bin critters pick these things apart or what the story is. Um, one of my predictions that, you know, I asked for people's predictions, what do you think is going to happen? My personal prediction was that I was going to see an uptick in mites and springtails and all kinds of bin critters because I'm feeding weird food. And that just simply has not happened. Although I am seeing a quite a few roly polies. That's pretty normal for my bins. But just grabbing up a handful of the castings, I'm not seeing any mites uh, or anything like that. So, like I said, I'm gonna kind of hold this here for a second and maybe you'll see something. And if you do see something, let besides the, the pill bugs, let me know. Okay, but I'm gonna put the chicken bones someplace else, like over here, because I don't want them to be part of the meatloaf. Uh, I don't ask me why, I just don't. I want them to be their own separate little thing. So let me know your thoughts on this and has this encouraged you to start adding meat to your bins or are you like, nope, let her do her crazy thing and I'm gonna do mine. Uh, so let me know in the comments below. Now this has got a whole playlist that you can go look into it and, and see what it's been doing since the beginning of time. But if you aren't interested in seeing more about a carnivorous bunch of worms, YouTube thinks you're going to like that video right over there. If you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day. Oh, I forgot the chicken bones.